Hello guys, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a classification that is a supervised classification on a Landsat image. So for that, let's go to Arc Map. So here is the image which I'm going to classify. So this is one of my study area, which has all total 11 images of a land cover. And it has all different type of land covers like forest, maybe water, some urban places, some of the pastures, grassland, agriculture, many more. So what am I going to do is I'm going to perform some classifications and mainly the interactive supervised classification. So why do we need classification? So this is a method in which the algorithm runs itself to show us which pixel shows which land cover. So what we are going to do is, first and foremost, we have to give training samples to the computer so as to understand that what we are looking for, what the user is looking for. So for giving the training samples, first we will select our file. So this is the file which we are going to do the classification on. And for doing first, what we need to do is, first we have to go to the customize tool, go to the extension and see whether we have the spatial analyst on so you need to have this on and then what we can do is just right click on this blank part and then click on the image classification so in my case it is on so you can find it here so this kind of window will appear on the screen and your first step will be making training samples so these samples are the reference samples which helps the computer for the identification of the pixels. For that, we are going to click on this. And so first the training sample appears like this. There would be no samples taken. So what we can do is we can go to this draw polygon. You can select the polygon, which the type you want, maybe a polygon, maybe a rectangle, maybe a circle. So let's go for a rectangle. So what we are going to do, we are going to zoom to a per, like for example, I'm going to see the forest. So the dark green represents forest. If you are confused with the color, what it represents, what you can do is you can use the false image classification colors and change the band accordingly. So after the false classification, this is what I get. So click on this, zoom in as much as you can because the more you zoom in, the more accurate pixel you'll get because there might be some pixels on the border of two different land covers and which may give you a confusing result. Select a small patch and it will appear on the screen. So you can select as many patches you want from different area. I would suggest you Take the patches in such a way that they should be distributed properly and evenly throughout the satellite image. So here how it goes. On an average, I take mostly five to seven samples. You can take as many as you want. Oh, sorry. Oops, this is the wrong one. This is how you can delete. So... I want to take a sample here. I'll zoom in. Yep, here you go. So when you are satisfied with the number of samples you have taken, you can just select all the three using the shift button on your keyboard. Select all the three together and click on this merge training samples. So once you click on this, all the training samples will be merged and you can name it as forest. You can change the color. So just click on that and usually the forest is green so I want to give it a green color. Similarly for the next one for now um, I would go for an urban area. So it's clearly visible that this part has a big urban area. Of course this is the part where I was I spent my childhood so I know this is an urban area. So select the polygon again go to this place make a polygon. Here we go. So you can select many more areas and the same process repeats itself. So there is a slight cloud in this part, which I mistook, mistook it for urban area, but it wasn't. 
So this can be some of the limitations while you do your project or anything regarding a Lancet image. So here we go. We see another urban area and here is the polygon we select. And again, click on the shift button, select both the classes, merge them and write as urban. So this will be a time consuming process. Therefore, I have already made a sample training set for you guys. So let's open the trample sample training set. Add. You can save your tr sample training set by clicking on save sample training set and this will be sh saved as a shape file. So here is the one which I've made for this project. Here we go. So usually for the supervised classification image, especially for the maximum likelihood classification, we have to create a signature file, but not in the case of interactive classification. So what we are going to do is once we open our signature file, we are going to go to this classification tool like that the mosaic file, the raster file is selected here. Then we are going to click on this classification and see, you can see the interactive supervised classification as highlighted because usually if you don't have the training sample set on the screen, the interactive supervised classification option will be dimmed. So you click on that and you have to wait for the results to click on this classification, click on that and you're good to go. You don't need to have, you won't be getting any windows. You won't have to do anything. You just have to wait and your results will appear. So for making the video, I've already done the results and here they are. So I'll just click on the results and you can see how the classified image would appear. Here we go. So you can see if we zoom in, you can see the green color representing the forest is all green. Wherever there are urban areas, like I've selected the one here, you can find the urban area here. You can see the blue water, like the lakes, the rivers, you can find them here. And of course, the lighter, the yellowish thing are the urban, maybe the grassland postures, whatever they are. So yeah, they are evenly spread. So here we go. Here is our results and how it looks. I hope you guys do this. And if you have any questions, comment below, like and subscribe. Thank you.